Hi, I'm here to talk to you about some basic spinning technique on the stationary pole or the static pole, whichever you want to call it. A um, couple things. First off, you'll always want to try to protect your shoulders since you're bearing most of your body weight uh, with your upper body. You want to try to use your bigger body, uh, your bigger muscle groups like your back muscles. So in order to do that, we use a technique called block your shoulders. I'm going to show you what that looks like. Putting my hands in a baseball grip. You're going to pull your shoulder blades down your back and slightly together, almost like you're kind of snapping on your bra strap. You want to make sure you don't tilt your chest up too much. You don't want to arch your back too much. You just want those shoulders to pull away from your ears, elongating your neck. That'll allow you to use your back muscles versus your shoulder muscles, and your back muscles are much bigger than your shoulder muscles. So that's the first tip. The second one is always pulling your body away from the pole. The further your body is away from the pole, the more weightless you'll feel and therefore the spin will feel very effortless and will look very effortless. But if you cling to the pole and like try to kiss the pole, it's probably not gonna be a good thing, it's not gonna look good and you'll probably get to the ground much faster than you were anticipating. So you wanna avoid that. Uh, and the other thing is you're going to want to create an impulse to create that centrifugal force around the pole because it's not going to happen naturally like it sometimes does on the spinning pole. You want to reach your body away and then usually it's your outside leg that's going to create that force. So whether you're going backwards or going forwards in your spin, it's usually going to be your outside leg that's going to help you come all the way around and create your centrifugal force. So I'm going to go ahead and show you with a basic spin. This is We call this an outside hook spin. Just walk around the pole, reach away, pivot into the pole, pick up your legs and hook your legs on the pole, keeping lots of distance between your navel and the pole. Okay, so um, you want to make sure that you apply that to all of your spins. I'm going to show you one other spin that's a reverse spin uh, that it applies the same, pulling your hips away from the pole, blocking your shoulders and using the outside leg as uh, your momentum to get your impulse. So lastly, the thing, one thing that's very also, also very important when you're doing a spin on the static pole is timing. So it's timing of pulling your body away, creating that centrifugal force with your impulse, and picking up your leg up off the ground. <laughs> Key, at some point it has to come up off the ground. So those are just some basics that you can, you can use for your spins to try to make your spins look better on the static pole. I hope that was helpful. Mm -hmm.